So we are happy to be joined by Downey today. Uh, have you longed Lonnie, to Lonnie, Yanni, Downey. Have you longed to come back on the show? I have. Yeah. I have been longing for it. I, our friendship has been in the strange situation of you being the tour widow. This yeah, you, Downey's I, been on I tour. I was actually on the road a little bit, which is with, unusual uh, for me. With some, some Black Veil family members. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Jonathan Severson, uh, Black Veil's longtime TM. Yes. And uh, Jeremiah Scott, your former and longtime front of house. Yes. Uh, plays guitar in a band called Demon Hunter, who I've worked with for a long time. And You may have seen yeah. photos of me and Jeremiah over the years. He is the uh, big, long-haired Viking-looking guy. Yeah, you uh, probably saw pictures of them uh, in Middle Earth. Yes, we did. We went to uh, the Shire or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> yeah, uh, I did so, not know. Sorry, Jeremiah. <laughs> I did not know anything about it. Uh, basically, Jeremiah hit me up one day when we were in New Zealand and said, "I want to go. I'm renting a car and I want to drive to where they filmed the Lord of the Rings movies." Uh, and I said, "Yeah, I'm not fucking doing anything. Let's go." And uh, he then rented a car and we drove on the wrong side of the road, um, nice. which he had never done before. Which was terrifying, uh, because at times he would start to veer into the wrong, just instinctively would start to veer right. to yeah. where cars are coming at me, sitting yeah. in the passenger seat. Uh, and so that was terrifying. But he, he actually, impressively, he got it down pretty quickly. And then we it was a long drive through just like the wilderness. Yeah, um, to actual get out Middle there. Earth. And then you get there and there's a little like... Uh, there's like a, 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 a like a main building when you get in and you have to like sign up and everything and they have all kinds of gear and t-shirts and I'm soaps sure. and shit. Um, and then, soap? yeah, they had soaps. Huh. Goat's milk soap that was from the goats that live on the land because it is just a, like essentially like farmland and just like wilderness. Yeah. Uh, and then you get into like a transpo uh, truck, like an all-terrain vehicle with like, you know, 25 other... Uh, it's like a big ass thing. Twenty five other like ner nerds that nerds, want to see. Yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, I don't say that as a derogatory thing yeah. because I am, I am a nerd of many things, uh, just yes. not that one specifically. Um, I had never seen a Lord of the Rings movie. I still have not. Wow. Uh, so my interest in this was purely just doing something with my friend. Yeah. Um, but then we actually got out there, and it is a fully functional little village. Oh. The houses are there. There's there's electricity running in the homes. You yeah. can go into these little homes. There's smoke coming out of the chimneys. There is a fully stocked Hobbit bar. Now, uh, did you meet any Hobbits? No, there's no like they don't have like pretend like there's no actors playing Hobbits. But the, no, I meant real Hobbits. But it's no. the, it's the sets that were built for the film. Yes, right? and it's film. fully kept. And there's employees that work out there. Like there's a bar with bartenders. Now I want to reiterate that this takes like an hour to get to just from the street that you have to take which is another hour so like your commute commute to work is super far just to get to where you park your car and then you have to get in like an hour-long shuttle through just rough terrain wilderness do you think they I'm live sure. in the shire i almost think they have to at this point there has to be somebody who's like can i just sleep it off in here but so they have they have a tiny little bar maybe uh, there's like a base camp somewhere that you didn't see I, yeah, I was very excited about that because at the time I was drinking quite a bit and uh, I was tired of the Shire within several <laughs> minutes. And then when you get to the end, you get to have uh, whatever their fancy, you know, I just, uh, it's a Harry Potter is uh, butter beer. Butter butter beer. Just say yeah. butter beer. Yeah, so you get, yeah, you get to have butter beer. Yeah. Uh, you get your Hobbit wand. Voldemort and, and <laughs> the Snake Man and all those people come out. Yeah. Uh, Did you meet any wizards? Real ones? Only uh, Dumbledoof or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Gary, Gary Dumbledore. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman was there. Gary Oldman was there. Dumbledoof was there. Yeah. Hustle Puss. Peter Dinklage. <laughs> from, uh, Game Wait, of what was it? Hoffle, uh What was your Hasselhorf? Or, no, what the hell was it called? Wufflepuff. Ah, it was something like that. Yeah. The, the made-up Harry Potter. Oh yeah. Right. Hufflepuff. Hustle. It was something. It was a ha. It was a, yeah. definitely a German, a German name. <laughs> Hasselhoff. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. Off. Yeah. Uh, big in Germany. Yeah, uh, so you get there, you get to have a beer, and it's like a tiny little one, but it was like it was the only treat that I got to have. And uh, Jeremiah like a, had like an a awesome time. Beer. Let me see if I can find a picture of myself and Jeremiah. Yeah, I, I definitely remember seeing those pictures. Just for us to to pull this up in here. the era. Let's see, uh, Hobbit. I mean, what's great about the fact that I'm googling were... Andy Beersack Hobbit. Oh, there we are. There's yep. me and Jeremiah at the first thing, first first thing that comes up yeah. for those yeah. of you yeah. playing yeah, along at home. There you go. Just Google Andy Beersack Hobbit, and it's, yeah, it's the first thing that comes up. Yeah, and that's and, the guy and, you were touring with. And yes. it's, so yeah, and it sort of and it sort of looks like you're with a wizard. 
Yeah, he and yeah, yeah, he didn't cast any spells. But I will say this: once it was all said and done, uh, it was a fun experience. Um, I did not care for the the transportation ride back to the parking structure uh, because the event was over and there's nothing worse than an (laughs) underwhelming event followed by a long drive back to a car that you have to then, and then we had to like stop at like this weird little hut that sold cigarettes because I was out of cigarettes. Like it was just, I think I'd enjoy it more now because I'm in a better headspace. Right. But back then I was a little bit more like, all right, we got to get back to the hotel. Mm-hmm. I mean, and the uh, thing, and whether you're a fan of those films or not, or let alone the books or anything, one of the things that's pretty fascinating about the fact that that exists is physical sets. Because, you know, if if you were to visit the sets of the Justice League film, yeah, that would literally be a green screen. It's also yeah. hard to believe yeah. that they've maintained it as well as they have. Yeah, yeah. the fact that they're, but it was an expensive venture, if I recall. Like we we got there and you had to drop some coin to go out there. Uh, and as far as I remember, the beer was complimentary, but that's really built into the car. 